Hi there, I'm Danny Flexen and welcome to the latest edition of Seconds Out Flex Expectations. We're here every Thursday, 4.30pm, to look ahead to the, well, <laughs> normally to look ahead to the boxing action of the weekend to come. Although, as most of you, all of you will know, there is no real boxing action to speak of until at least June now, it appears. Um, which makes things very difficult. We're living in crazy times, or at least unprecedented times. Uh, Rumours of a virtual lockdown um, to start pretty soon. Um, coronavirus sweeping the country. Even McDonald's has stopped people eating in, which, you know, I'll leave you to decide which of those um, developments has affected me personally the most. But it's tough. For everyone and we'll continue to produce content as best as we can um, and you'll see there's still fresh content going out on the channel um, luckily um, and we'll keep trying it, doing our best you know you might see a lot of phone conversations set to stills or skype conversations recorded that kind of thing as well as some archive content brought back to the fore um, but whatever it might be and there's some new concepts going on as well we'll do our best to keep you entertained as you know You've got very few other options, let's be honest. We're <laughs> almost shooting fish in a barrel, but we don't want to get cocky about other people's misery. Um, what I want to talk about today is uh, Billy Joe Saunders, Canelo Alvarez and Gennady Golovkin. That strange, I'm not going to call it a love triangle, a glove triangle, if you like. Um, it's an interesting one because even though all these fights have been postponed and cancelled, Canelo has found time to agree, not his next fight, but potentially his one after that is September fight um, against Gennady Glovkin, the trilogy fight that has been talked about for a couple of years now. Um, and it seems that in typical kind of superstar fashion, he may have just waited long enough for his opponent to get just old enough to get the clear victory that he obviously desires. First fight between them was a highly contentious draw a number of years ago. And then a year after that, um, they had another very close fight that for me, Canelo just about edged and, and he certainly did on the scorecards. Um, a couple of years further down the line, Canelo since gone up and down in weight. Um, obviously, most recently beat Sergei Kovalev, stopped him impressively um, for a light heavyweight belt, and is now a three weight world champion. Um, if the Saunders fight gets rescheduled for June, as they're hoping, he could become a four weight world champion if he relieves Saunders of the WBO super middleweight crown. And then you've got Golovkin, who recently regained the IBF portion of the middleweight belt. Um, in a tougher than expected fight, it's fair to say, against the spirited and talented Sergei Derevyanchenko. How much that fight told us about how good Derevyanchenko is compared to how much Golovkin has slipped remains to be seen. But it's hard to equate the current version of Triple G with the one that was rampaging through the middleweight division, say, five years ago. Um, Canelo will feel time in spot on, and I can understand why he wants that fight. But there's a certain level of arrogance in uh, securing that fight before your impending contest against Billy Joe Saunders, postponed, of course, from May the 2nd, has even been completed. It suggests a certain level of self-confidence on Canelo's part, but perhaps also a certain confidence in the judges that even in a close fight, if Saunders does give him problems, the verdict will go his way. Um, plenty of reasons why Saunders has got a chance in the fight. You know, Canelo doesn't love the kind of mobile southpaw style. We've seen that in the past, although none of them have beaten him, they've all given him problems. Um, the only southpaw he's fought, and indeed the most recent southpaw he's fought a number of times ago, was James Kirkland. A number of times ago? A number of years ago. was James Kirkland, who was a much more straightforward type of southpaw compared to Billy Joe Saunders, and Canelo summarily dismissed him. But hasn't fought a southpaw since, and I think there's a reason for that. It's not just that the marquee fights for Canelo are against fellow orthodox fighters. He struggles a bit with the southpaw style. So he, he's laboured against guys like that before, especially if they're mobile, slick, and defensively responsible. We saw it against Austin Trout, Erislondi Lara. And yeah, that was a long time ago. He could be much better against left-handed fighters now of that ilk. But we don't know until he gets in there with Saunders. And Saunders is motivated, he's unbeaten, he's an incredibly talented fighter. He's wanted a big shot at the likes of Triple G and Canelo for such a long time now. There'll be no one with greater motivation. He's linked back up, of course, with Ben Davison ahead of this fight. He's training out in Las Vegas at the moment. Um, and although he's not a natural super middleweight, Saunders, um, and that's one of the key things that counts against him, also the fact that he hasn't fought at this level before, you've got to give him at least a shot 
uh, outboxing Canelo for long enough to get a decision. Whether he actually gets awarded the verdict is, is completely another matter. And we've all heard, you know, conjecture about how Canelo gets favoured in close fights by judges, particularly in Las Vegas. But I just think it's a mistake on Canelo's part to think too far ahead. You know, it could all go wrong. And, and this may even give added fuel to Saunders' fire. You know, knowing that um, a big money trilogy fight is being planned as if he's already lost to Canelo. As if they're, well, they are clearly overlooking him, at least to an extent. I think that will give him more motivation. Whether it's enough to push him over the edge and actually get a victory is another matter. But it just seems like a, a strange decision from Canelo. But I guess... Uh, there were commercial imperatives at play and with the Saunders fight getting pushed back longer than most people thought it makes sense to have your ducks in a row if the Saunders fight cannot happen because it gets pushed back too far it becomes untenable I guess a September fight needed to be in the books so I can see both sides it'd be great to know what you guys think though you know is is this a, a bit of a you know shot at Saunders that he's a, uh, Canelo's agreed a fight going forward after him or is it just, you know, common sense and sound financial planning? Let us know what you think and also what you think of the potential fights. You know, does Canelo comfortably beat Saunders? Does he comfortably beat Golovkin? Do you, which one of the two at this stage of their careers do you see giving him more trouble? I guess that's the, the real question here. Um, love to hear what you think and I'll respond to some of the comments. I'll be back Monday for reflections. No idea what it's going to be about. Um, maybe I'll have armed guards outside my door stopping me from leaving. Um, we'll see what happens, um, but that will certainly make a more action-packed reflections than we used to. But I'll be here Monday, 4.30pm for that, and the next Flex Expectations, 4.30pm next week, Thursday. Uh, really appreciate your time, as always, and all being well, and I don't get you know hit by the plague. I'll see you all soon. Cheers.